Griner Auto Body, Car Doctor, Wayland State Bank, Girling Repair, Hinshaw Trailer Sales, McDonald Boneyard, and B&B Propane and the family of Jet Stops present Southeast Iowa Today. I'm John Bain, author of Christie's Journey, The Beat Goes On, and your host. Today I am at the YMCA in Washington, Iowa, where they had a groundbreaking for their new indoor aquatic center. It's a beautiful day in Washington, Iowa, that is for sure. Everyone can hear me all right. Hope you can hear me in the back. Thank you all very much for coming today. Um, I want to welcome you. I'm Amy Schulte, the CEO of the YMCA of Washington County. <laughs> We're very excited to have all of you here with us today for this momentous event. Um, we'll be making our remarks brief since it's so warm out here today. I apologize for uh, <laughs> keeping you all outside, but this is a, a great day for the YMCA and for Washington County. The YMCA's purpose is to bring people and communities together. This project is the embodiment of that purpose. Today's events has been 10 years in the making and it will be the beginning of many new and exciting opportunities in Washington. Thank you so much again for all of you for being here with us. Um, you have all played a key role in the process and we are truly grateful for all of your help and support. With that, I'm gonna turn uh, the microphone over to Ed Weeks. He's been our fundraising chair um, and a huge part of the project from start to finish. So take it away, Ed. Thank you. Glad to see all of you here. And Amy told me I get to talk about 100 years but condense it in 10 minutes. So. <laughs> So, it's, so since it's really hot, I'll try to make it faster than that. Uh, the YMCA here in Washington started back in the early 20s. A, a guy donated $85,000 back then to build a new Y. Uh, in today's dollars, that's about five million bucks. Uh, however, the National YMCA said, Washington, you're too small a town to have a Y. And so they said, you need to create an endowment. Well, the community got together and they did. And so in 1925, the new building was open. And that's what started all this almost uh, almost 100 years ago. And I think we're still the smallest community in the United States to have a Y. I'm not too sure we still have the oldest indoor swimming pool operating <laughs> in the United States. Uh, I'd like to get the Guinness Book of World Records out here, but I think I think I think we have that record. And Amy couldn't get me a teleprompter because I'm not the president, so you have to bear with me paging through my notes. So the Y has always been a really, really good activity center for the community. Uh, Washington has no tax supported rec center. Uh, and thousands and thousands have learned to swim here at the Y. Uh, the youth swim team started back in the 50s with Maxine and Milo Steele and Judy Moore and others. And, and unfortunately those three people aren't here to enjoy what we're doing today. Um, <clears throat> and I suppose on the swim team over the 50, 60 years, there's probably been somewhere between two to 3,000 kids swim on that swim team. And so, and really looking forward to giving them a new pool to, you know, to swim in. And the other thing, it's such a disadvantage. You know, that pool's only 20, 20 yards long, and they have to practice there, and then they go and have to swim in a 25-meter pool. And it's tough, but we st how many champions did we have this year? Quite a few, didn't we? So good for the swim team for being such a good, good organization. And any kid who's in high school who wanted to swim, they had to trek to Iowa City and either swim for West or City High, and that was, that, that's tough. Okay, let's zoom forward from the 1990s to the 2020s. Uh, the pool was a prolific money pit. Uh, <laughs> same, the same with the main facility. Uh, but the decision was made in 2013 to build a new facility. And the estimate back then was only $11 million for, for both buildings. Uh, but there were naysayers. People said, hey, you, you, you're not going to do this. How the hell are you going to raise all this money? That's a lot of money. We don't, we, you, you're not going to be able to do it. Well, myself and a few other people on the campaign team, uh, we didn't take that attitude. Uh, and my personal place in this 
Uh, my first job was at that old building in 1961 at 60 cents an hour as a desk clerk handing out towels and ping pong balls. And I got my life saving and I was a lifeguard there. <clears throat> and I think it's a pretty big responsibility for a 16 or 17 year old kid to be a lifeguard. I mean, you're, people's lives are in your hands. And to this day, I've been thankful to have that opportunity. And so this is kind of my way of paying that back. So, okay. So the decision was made to break this into two phases. We, we were afraid that if we tried to chunk this whole thing, 12, 13 million dollars in one piece, we wouldn't have what you're looking at today. So we broke it into two phases. Phase one was a building you see, $9.3 million, it's paid for, and we have no debt. And phase two, as you're starting to see here, is gonna be about $8.2 million. We've raised 7.4 so far, we still have about 800,000 to go, but we'll, we'll raise that one way or the other. And I wanna thank the Casino Foundation, because uh, in phase one, the Casino Foundation gave us three and a half million. Phase two, the Casino Foundation gave us three million. So the Casino Foundation paid for $6.5 million of this facility. So, state, state of Iowa, uh, in Enhanced Iowa, we got a $500,000 grant in phase one. We got a $500,000 grant in phase two. In, a new organization called Destination Iowa. We had 300, we had three quarters of a million dollars from uh, from Destination Iowa. So the state of Iowa gave us uh, about 1.75 million dollars. So that's great. The city of Washington donated the land that you're sitting on right now. We've had a little bit of a cash inflow from also from the city and the board of supervisors. <clears throat> I want to thank them. Also, I want to thank Washington State Bank. They're going to provide us our construction loan for the project, and I'm very happy to have that. And it gave us some pretty nice rates, so we're really happy. <laughs> so the thing I'm tickled about, you know, we did we, we did raise almost 17 and a half million dollars, and 10 million of it came from the individuals. You know, you subtract out what the casino and what the state gave us, we still raised in this community 10 million dollars, and that's that's amazing. Um, I counted this morning right now I have over 300 individual donors I'm not going to name all 300 people <laughs> but you will be recognized on our donor board uh, but I thank everybody for doing that because it's and we're not done you still may be getting a phone call you never know okay look to the future this place is going to be open in September of 14 excuse me 24. Uh, all right. I, my proofreader wasn't very good. Six lane competition pool, zero depth family pool, sauna, whirlpool, seating, Y swim team, no more disadvantage of a 20 yard pool to practice in. Hopefully, the 2025 school year, you might see a Washington High School swim team. And what's neat about that? Mid Prairie, Island, Columbus, Waco, um, Hillcrest, uh, will all be welcome to probably swim a swim team, or if they want to, they can have their own swim team here if they want to do that. So that's that's great. Who knows, we may have another Michael Phelps who won 23 gold medals, <laughs> and Kate, Katie Ledecky who won five gold medals. You never know, it could happen. Uh, and the economic, thing, excuse me, <clears throat> the economic impact and this is huge because we'll have swim meets for the high school, swim meets for the Y, which will bring in lots of people. Same way with the new building. Uh, how many tournaments did you have in the last two or three years for basketball? We had one, yeah, about six or eight every season. Yeah, and so that brings a lot of lot of money into Washington, and so it's been a win-win for everybody. And, uh, and this wellness park concept is going to be finally complete. We got the Y, we have the ballparks. We got the soccer soccer fields. We have the Key Wash Trail. I, I know friends. I have friends who have kids on these traveling teams, and you wouldn't believe how much people talk about Washington. Uh, they, they, you see what they're doing in Washington. It's 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 amazing what they've done. 
So congratulate to all of you for helping us do that. And this is a county facility, so members of the Kelowna and Wellman Y are able to, will be able to come here and use the facility and use the pool. So it is a, a reciprocal type of agreement. <clears throat> so some special thanks to the Y Board of Directors. Uh, you've helped past and present, and you've persevered and you've hung in there, and appreciate you doing that. <clears throat> the capital campaign team, it's not fun calling somebody up and say, I want to get in your pocketbook. But sometimes we've got to do that. And I thank people on the campaign team that, that did that. <clears throat> um, I want to thank the communities of Kelowna and Wellman also. They've been very, very supportive of this project. Uh, it's certainly appreciated. <clears throat> and Carly Nelson, who's going to be the construction manager for phase two. They were construction manager for phase one. And they've rebuilt half of Washington. The high school, the auditorium, the library, the UP home, uh, and the hospital. So Dan Culp really has two homes, <laughs> one here and one in Burlington. Okay, finally, I want to recognize two people, and this, they're both rather personal, so bear with me. Um, first one was Becky Harkema. Becky came here in 2012, and she saw the need uh, for a new facility, and she convinced the board back in 2013 uh, to do a feasibility study and uh, long story short here we are uh, she was the first CEO after six or seven or eight that didn't want to buckle up to the issue of trying to build a new Y because uh, you can't do it it's too big of a project but Becky started it and Becky left in 2017 and she had hired Amy and the board uh, made a very, very wise decision of hiring Amy. Uh, she worked right next door with, with Becky through the whole process, and the, the transition was seamless. And because of Amy, you see what we have here today. Uh, I know a lot of people have put a lot of work in, but no one's put in more work than Amy. And she, she deserves a lot of congratulations. Uh, is, is Dan here? Uh, well, Amy's husband and daughter deserve, should be very, very proud. And I had the fortune of knowing Amy's mother. Uh, we lived right across the street from each other, played kick the can, you know, all the all way over. And she would be really proud of you, Amy. She, she really would. So thanks again for everybody. This is positive for this community. And thanks for coming. And we'll get this done here very quick. And uh, thanks again for everything. Thank you, Ed. I just want to ask Tara Huber to come up and say a few words um, on behalf of our swim families and our swim team um, in the community. They, um, you know, our swimmers have been the driving force behind all of this, so we wanted to ha have a few words from Tara. On behalf of the swimmers and parents of Washington Water Sharks swim team, we want to thank the community for the continued support to make this project a, a reality. The Washington Water Shark Swim Team over the past 10 years have ranged anywhere from 60 to 80 swimmers per year. The ranges of our swimmers are range from a five-year-old up to seniors in high school. And our swimmers are from Washington, but also surrounding areas of Kyoto, Riverside, Kelowna, Wellman, and even as far as Columbus Junction. This new facility will provide space for and opportunities for our swimmers of all types. We'll be able to provide the needs for our beginning swimmers to build confidence to learn the four strokes. This space will also provide the needs for our more competitive swimmers to be able to meet the needs so that they can differentiate our practices and help them succeed in whatever they want to do. Um, this will also allow us to be able to host uh, swim meets, as Ed said, um, which creates opportunities for our community members to see our swimmers show off all of their hard work. But most importantly, this new aquatic center will allow us to continue to focus on what, we, what it means to be part of the swim team. We embody the four pillars um, of character, caring, honesty, respect, and responsibility. We want our, student, our swimmers to go ahead and develop strong friendships and encourage them to support one another at a swim meet. We encourage goal setting and personal growth. We encourage building self-confidence, and we encourage building perseverance. We appreciate your support 
and we look forward to an, uh, a great opportunity to go ahead and um, expand our water program. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Swimming really uh, creates family and community, and um, I, I think you can see all the blue shirts that we have out here. These are some of our aquatic, our, <laughs> our, our ladies who continue to swim in our pool all the time and, and attend our aquatics classes, and I, I love your show of solidarity in your matching shirts. Um, now I'm gonna turn it over to Michelle Redlinger, and we're gonna get busy breaking ground so we can get busy building this project. If only I was blessed with the opportunity to have like a, I don't know, like a jump in or something like that. If the pool was done, it's definitely weather for that. Um, but um, as the, the director of the chamber, I am just uh, given a, a great honor to recognize all of the players and the people that really made this project uh, come to fruition. Uh, Washington is a growing community. We invest in our businesses, we invest in our families, we invest in people, and whether your contribution was, was large or small or you're able to support the Y by attending classes and programs here, we all know that you have a heart for, um, for the Y. It, it, it's a very special place for, um, for all of us. And, um, and at this time, uh, we're gonna begin the groundbreaking, and I'm gonna call some groups up to the stage here, to the, to the mound of dirt, I should say. And, uh, and put some faces with some names here for the community. So first of all, I would like to welcome the directors who sit on the YMCA of Washington County board. If you guys can stand up and come join me here at the front, we're gonna get you in position and we're gonna let the community know who you are. Okay, and if you guys can stand here to the uh, left side of the shovel. Next, I'd like to invite the board of the Washington County Riverboat Foundation to join us here. And as I'm saying this, all of these are opportunities for you guys to get involved in volunteer opportunities and ways that we can support more projects in the community. Okay, get me here in the middle. Okay, um, I'd like to welcome those of us who are with Carl A. Nelson here to join us here. If you guys can come join on um, the two bookends of the line of shovels. Let people know who you guys are. And then last, I'd like to welcome our Washington Chamber ambassadors to come and join. And if you guys can come and create a sea of maroon coats here, right behind all of these fantastic individuals who've been part of the project. somebody that always likes to be behind the camera instead of in front of it but Lyle Moen here is our uh, ambassador photographer he's uh, a great supporter of all of our events and um, he's gonna be directing the groundbreaking and I think we need everybody to condense Okay, look at the camera. You, I need to be able to see you. You need to be able to see me. Okay, looking good. Look at the camera. I'm gonna take a couple here. Great big smiles. This is a very happy day. Okay, thank you. Can we do a 
count down. Three, two, one, and shovel on one. other partners here that are also very instrumental in this new project so I'm going to bring Amy back to the microphone and um, open it up for a few other groups here to be part of um, the groundbreaking. Well I just wanted to take the opportunity while everyone is here if you want to come up and have a ceremonial picture taken um, if the Wash County Robot Foundation wants a picture just their group together we can do that um, our lifeguards are here they want a picture I can tell we can bring them over our pool staff and our lifeguards we'd love to do that um, our our swimmers who are came to join us today and um, we'd love to get pictures of you as well so um, please step up and um, and enjoy this moment um, you guys help make it possible There are also refreshments inside if you'd like to cool off. Um, there's a water lemonade and um, some sweets in there. So please, and there's also memorabilia from past swim team years and past swimming activities at the Y. Amy Schulte, congratulations today. This is just a wonderful event. Yes, thank you so much. We're really, really excited about what's happening here today. Now, I, you know, the, the folks that are watching this on Southeast Iowa Today with John Bain, that's me. Uh, anyway, uh, they've already seen the presentation and you just said there were so many people involved in this project to get this pool started. Yeah, it truly takes a village and, you know, this, uh, the Washington community has been such a huge supporter of the Y and we're just really grateful for everything. Well, um, one of the things that you mentioned is uh, not only will folks from Washington be able to use this, but other Y members throughout the surrounding communities in Washington County, correct? Yeah, yeah. so we have, um, you know, that reciprocity with our, in our association. So our Wellman and Kelowna members, um, it's part of their membership benefit as well. Um, people who visit from out of uh, state can buy day passes. People who visit from other places in the city of, um, or in the state of Iowa can buy day passes as well. Um, yeah, our, a lot of our swim team kids, right now our swimmers come from seven different counties already. So. Now, um, as far as the, I saw the ladies in the blue shirts. Yeah. Do they currently still go to the old Y? Yeah, so our, our original pool is still open. It's 99 years old and they swim there. Um, they have an aqua aerobics class that they participate in. Um, they're a dedicated, uh, just great group. Uh, they're really a close knit community. They, you know, they look like us. an awesome bunch of ladies and I'm really excited that they're gonna have a new pool here. And is it 2025 or? 2024, Tw September so, of 2024. So yeah. just a little over a year from now, yeah. all this will be enclosed and there'll be a huge pool in here. Yes. It's yeah. incredible. It's it's a dream come true. Yeah, it really a lot is. of hard work, uh, a lot of effort from a lot of people in the community. And we're just really excited to bring it to Washington. Well, I, I don't want to take up any more of your time because you are very popular. You're always very popular, but you're <laughs> extremely popular today. I think it's mostly the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, from what, what we've been told, we know uh, uh, some, the person I'm talking to right now deserves a lot of credit. Well, so I appreciate that. Thank you on behalf of the community. Yeah. Was there something I should have asked or that you want to share with the viewers of Southeast Iowa today? Um, I, you know, honestly, I just, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten a lot of credit today for this, but I couldn't have done this in a, you know, myself. This is, nothing like this is done in a vacuum. So um, it's just tremendous, the support. And, and I appreciate it um, from everybody who has helped out and been a part of this project. The city donated the land. The county has made contributions to this project. You know, um, so many individuals. So we wouldn't be here without all of them as well. Well, Amy Schulte, congratulations, and we wish you continued success. Thank you so much. That was the groundbreaking 
at the new Aquatic Center at the Washington County YMCA in Washington, Iowa. Special thanks to Amy Schulte for visiting with us today. And thanks to our sponsors, Griner Auto Body, Car Doctor, Girling Repair, Wayland State Bank, McDonald Boneyard, Hinshaw Trailer Sales, and b, b Propane, and the family of Jet Stops. I'm John Bain. Stay friendly, Southeast Iowa.